In this tutorial, we will talk about customizing the Ubuntu Linux desktop in the context of, of the fonts and the font preferences. Now, the fonts that are available and that, that can be uh, modified and changed are available under Preferences and then Font. This opens up a dialog box that allows one to change the font preferences that are available for, for various aspects of the desktop. For example, the application font is the default font that's used within applications themselves. Sans is a font that is included with Ubuntu Linux, and that is the default choice. But clicking on the Sans button opens up a window where one can select different fonts and different styles, such as regular, italic, or bold, and the size. So if we wanted to select Century Schoolbook, and size 12, we could do that here. But we can cancel out. We can also change the default document font, the default desktop font, that is the, the fonts that you use for shortcuts and things on the desktop, the window title font, that's the font that you see right up here in the window, in the title bar of the window, and fixed width font. These are often used in, in the terminal and, and other applications like that. Now, there's also different types of font rendering, depending on the type of monitor that one has. If one has, a, has an LCD, this subpixel smoothing should be chosen. And in fact, with subpixel smoothing, one can go into details and really make a fine-grained choice on the type of, of hinting and the, and the subpixel order and, and things like that. All of that can be modified right in here. Now, adding new fonts... If one downloads fonts that wants that you want to use within applications or within the desktop, is very easy to do. In the home folder, viewing the hidden files directory, there may be and there may not be, but if there's not, we can create it. And there's not, but there is uh, the Ubuntu Linux looks for a hidden folder called fonts for fonts that you have downloaded and wish to use. Since that folder is not here, we would go in and do simply show hidden files and then type in a, a directory of dot fonts. Now this hidden directory, and it's hidden because it's got the period in front, and one can turn off and turn on the ability to view hidden files by this option under view in the Nautilus file manager. This directory is where fonts can be in, in, can be placed that are downloaded from the internet. Simply copy the TTF files or the other font files, the, the extracted or the unarchived files into this folder, and then they will be available the next time one uh, goes to the system preferences font option. The new fonts will be available here for use. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.